Yum, yum. Hello, this is Pascal. And today we're going to talk about Newton. Newton was born on Christmas Day 16. Newton is an After Effects plugin that gives you rigid body dynamics. I'll give you a simple demo. It's really easy to use. So it works with shapes or masks. For in this comp I have here, the stars and the ellipse are all shapes and the ground is a solid with a mask on it. To get into Newton, you go to Composition and Newton, this is version 2, is here. And then you're taken to the Newton interface. I'm going to make it a little bigger. It's really, really well uh, thought out and simple to use. So you have your elements here. And here you can decide what kind of um, behavior they're going to have. So, for instance, the ground, I'm going to put in static. The ellipse, I'm going to put dormant, which means it's going to react only when it's interacting with the other elements. And the stars are going to stay dynamic. You'll see that the ellipse has jagged edges because the, you can control the mesh precision here or depends how precise you want your simulation to be. And then you just press the play button. And you have your simulation. If you know dynamics, you have all the, the usual settings you can find for dynamics, density, friction, bounciness. I can, can make the stars more bouncy and a little lighter. You can also join the, the elements here. You have different types of joints. So you have the, like a linear joint. You can do one by one or you can do the whole bunch together. So I press join. You have the joint now. So I'll remove these. You have a corner joint. And you have, what is this called? I forgot, piston joint. And the parameters are controllable here, so you can decide, uh, you can play with those and... see what kind of effect you want to have. The last joint is this uh, spring joint. With some settings here also. And you can actually move the joint position, select this one, for instance, and let's do it on the top of the stars for each. There we go. I'm not being very precise here, just... Uh, Where you get the idea. So I'll get a bit of all those. What's great is that you also have a visual interface if you don't want to adjust velocity, angular velocity, all that stuff with the numbers. You can do it visually. Here you have you can see the gravity settings, which you also have here. So you can set this, the angle, the strength. And you can also visualize the velocity. So, for instance, I should not select all of them. Let's just do this one. 
you can visualize what the trajectory is going to be, which is really useful. I'm going to click Auto Load Safe Settings here and quit the interface. So it's going to keep all my settings that in the uh, Newton interface. And I want each star to start its dynamic behavior at a different time. So all you have to do is create a different keyframe for the position of each star. But well, the ellipse we don't want. And go back to Newton. And for the stars, instead of uh, dynamic, we're going to choose kinematic. And when now we I play the simulation, they respect the keyframes. So I'll show you the what to do when you render it. Just press apply to new composition, render. You see it's really fast. I mean this is a simple animation, but uh, and now you have a new animation with keyframes for every object. It's really fun to use with the type also. So let me hide all these. And I'll type something very original, like pixel fondue, not fondue, or fondue. Let's make it bigger and bolder. All right. So to use with type, you can't use directly the type. If you use it, it's just going to look at it as a one solid, basically. But if you want each letter to be separated, you're going to have create shapes or masks from text. Let's do shapes. And then when you go to uh, Newton, you're going to get a dialogue asking you if you want to keep all the shapes together or separate them. So in this case, we want to separate them. And see all these settings have been kept dormant. So the letters are all dynamic. And now you have this very sad picture of pixel fondue broken into pieces. Now, the great thing about this plugin is that you can really use all those keyframes for anything you want. It, we're in After Effects, so you can replace shapes by, with images. You can use all the blending modes to do something crazy. But you can also use um, element with it, and I'll show you how. And that will be in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.